join us as we sit down with some of the women who have triumphed on the screen this year. Amy Adams, Big Eyes, Patricia Arquette, Boyhood, Molly Hockey, Holy Singles, Laura Dern, Wild, Felicity Jones, The Theory of Everything, Julianne Moore, Still Alice, and Hilary Swank, The Homesman. Welcome to the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable, The Actors. What has been your bravest or most challenging moment as an actress? But I would say for me, it would probably have been Boys Don't Cry playing Brandon Tina or Tina Brandon, however. I always said Brandon you know, Tina. You want to say it? Oops. Just go on. Just for the sake of passing as a boy and trying to be believable as a boy to tell this person's story in the most, with the most integrity. And I felt a huge responsibility because it was a tragic event that happened and I, I wanted say. to be able to tell it as, as honestly as possible. So I agree. I played Seventy Martin in Holy Singles, and she's based on a real person. She's based on me, poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> so to preserve the full depth of her identity and to stay true to her slash my story was quite a challenge. And fucking scary. That was awesome. That she was, they don't you. see that as choices in actresses. Mm. They see yeah, everything yeah. you do as your own essence and judge mm. you as if it's you. Mm. Here's this actress clearly acting two parts. Oh, thank you. And yet, in some way, that gets lost. Yeah, and like Right, because actress. on the one hand, Molly Hawkey, on the other, Seveny Martin. So monumentally different, but at the same time, exactly the same person. First opportunity to be a professional actor. And my dog was with me and my dog got her period on his pants. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. Wow, that's a good ice cream. Oh, 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 gross. And during the filming, it would be like, I'm hungry. OK. I'm Come hungry. Come over to craft service. <laughs> or I'd have a scene where I'd be crying. Wait, Because they're real learning tears? about acting while they're growing up. And then they'd come over like, how do you do that? How do you how do, oh, you do that? That's adorable. You guys can't really like cry real tears on camera, can um, you? Like, just because it says cry in the script doesn't mean you have to do it. That's and right. If it doesn't really? come, it's OK. I am learning so much today. And you couldn't, as a human being, say, honey, I got to do this right now. <laughs> right, of course. So you had to do both at once. You kind of had to mother and teach wow. acting and wow. move through things. Yeah. So when I watched it, it was like, wow. Trippy. Because we didn't have a full script at the beginning, and you had to have a different process of um, elimination. Usually, you can arc your character <laughs> oh, according yeah. to. And Who's an actress whose career you'd love to emulate? You know what? I have been told a number of times that I look like a young Laura Dern, so I'm going to go with you, Laura, especially in that mask movie where you play that blind horse girl and the, with the guy with the deformed face. I love that. The chair, 85, 1985-ish. order to be vulnerable and to be open and to try new things when someone pushes on your head pushes you down like that with just a couple of words like why did you do that yeah man and instead of saying well that was an interesting choice let's try something else it makes you feel stifled fat scared to take a risk and to try oh. something new well, i feel yeah. like characters don't exist without a narrative right. you know that idea of like oh there's this character well that's great so you have the character but 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 that you don't go anywhere with just an interesting personality you need a story you need you know beginning a middle and an end yeah. about if your kids want to become actors what? what your response to that would be I don't have any kids Matt I'm curious about that and why that is why that is um I guess that's probably a better question for all the dudes that have never gotten me pregnant oh. right <laughs> I mean I'm certainly pretty enough I'm at least as pretty as Amy over there and she's got kids <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, I don't get it. I don't get it. Any advice that you, you, you would offer? You know, I had a therapist say to me once, you know, a feeling can't kill you. Oh, yes, it can. Mm. It can't. Really? You know, it's just a feeling, and we're just pretending, and I yeah. really like it. You're going to get killed. Julian? People are going to beat you up. 
That's a little extreme. I mean, I don't think. Leave us the fuck alone. Me? On that note, I think we'll wrap up. Oh, I no. wanted to thank everyone for participating today in the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable. Oh, wait, before the we actresses. go, can we all get in a group photo? Amy, you have a camera. I don't care if you have a camera. Fuck you. Whoa. That's how I feel. What's going on? Guys? <sighs> We have Hilary Swank, Amy Adams, Julian Moore, Molly Hockey, Felicity Jones, Patricia Arquette, and Laura Dern. Thanks a lot. <laughs>